This is by far the coolest podcast yet. Hey, um, actually just finishing up recording a sermon here. Uh, interestingly enough, I still have my webcam going. Um, here we go. And then this is a recorded video here. Here's something you've probably heard. Um, just wanted to do this for the podcast, just to kind of show my setup here. I have, this is actually my shade from the window. Here's something you've probably heard. Uh, which is blinding. I took the shade out of the window. It helps bounce the light back onto my face. Keep from getting such a dark shadow every chance we get on the side here. So, I know about the saving grace yeah, the, and then behind me, don't know when we'll have whoop, chance again. I've got this nice yeah, big, small, like, I don't know if you guys can light. see this, and not just one um, here we go, Consider Billy Graham, we got that hung up on our light, and then up onto my shelving unit the there, and there's this big curtain that's kind of black out stuff behind me, so you don't see the messy wall and everything. So, that's just a quick little, ooh, just quickly recording for the podcast here. Here I am, uh... So I'm just transcoding the podcast. This is my video. I know it's kind of hard to see with the reflection and everything. And I really know to stop that. Um, so I'm just transcoding the podcast. Use a free program. And of course you're not going to see what this is. Don't think I can change. No, I can't change focus on recordings. Um, but it's a free software called Media Coder. Um, I actually have to, because I record this with my webcam, it records it as WMV. Which, unfortunately, and I'm not sure why, but Ubuntu will not, or at least Kdon Live, which is my video editing software, it won't read WMVs correctly. So I have to convert them to MP4s first. And once it's in MP4, there we go, 85 seconds. Once it's in MP4, I can easily edit it with Kdon Live. And because that's my video editing software, that's what I have to do. But it only takes, like you said, it's a seven-minute video, and it took 85 seconds, so it's it's not bad for speed. Hey, I got the uh, sermon here. Just copying it up onto my uh, onto even two here, and then we'll be launching Kaden Live to edit this up. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, while we're waiting for that, let me just... Get, I really need a tripod here. Yep, yep, it's true, everybody. Yep, I ain't done the job. Drop it. Oh, come. So, see, it's true. Now I'm going to talk food in my mouth. Um, oops, yep. But I do eat my candy, too. I don't just store it. And you know who you are. So, don't tell me you never eat your candy. Because I do. Just not all that often. But I'm eating it now. No, no problem. Alright, so, this is going to be kind of weird here, I guess. Uh, not weird in the sense of... I'm not sure what. It's going to be a little unusual, I guess. Okay, so, this is the story. Um, I work full-time job besides Black Blue Animated. And I've given business cards and told some of my coworkers about me being on the website and having these videos and whatever. And so, one of my coworkers actually went to the website and watched my one of my YouTube videos. Interestingly enough, and when I say my, I just mean the video I'm in, not that it's my video, it's the Bible Animated video. But anyways, um, so he asked me this question the next day at work. He was like, so why don't you wear glasses in your YouTube videos? And I was like, you know, normally when I do these, either I'm holding the camera a couple feet from my face like I'm doing right now, or I use the webcam on my laptop. And let me just do this here. I do wear glasses, yes, but my glasses are really only for far distances. If I'm looking at something close, say my computer screen as I'm recording myself or something, I don't like to wear glasses because, A, you'll notice I have all this reflection on the lenses. I just don't think that looks very professional. And secondly, 
At this distance, I do not need my glasses. They are not serving me any purpose wearing them, or making me look cool. Of course, they have to be sunglasses, and then they're not. So, they're not making me look any cooler. But, so that is the explanation uh, for why I don't wear glasses when I record these videos. But yes, otherwise, if I'm not working on the computer or something, I do wear glasses. If you care at all, which I'm sure you don't, you could care less about me and my life. But that's not what this is about. This isn't about me, this is about the Bible anime. But that was just a little tidbit I was thrown out. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm just here showing some new updates to the website. Uh, you'll notice if you visit our website, www.thebibleanimated.com, that when you change the size of the window, the header graphic changes size as well. Which I personally think is extremely cool. It only took me, I don't know, a few hours to find out how to do that. But okay, that was the one cool thing. Then, on the right hand side here, I have the Facebook plugin. It shows we've got our latest feeds going there, our fans, and underneath it I've got our verse which we used to have there. Moved the like for the website to the bottom center here. Got our hit counters. On the left, still have all of our old links here. Um, and then I have these new features. Say view more. And if you click on the view more tab, here we go. They come up in their own little pop up windows, which I'm not sure, but there is a possibility that if you have a pop up blocker, it might mention this, but I don't believe so because. A pop-up blocker should just block things that are popping up by themselves, not that you told them to. Here we go. I have uh, week five's mini sermon here. Every single week, I'm updating the mini sermon one. So if you want to see the most recent mini sermon, you can always just come right to our homepage and click the view more there. Uh, the other things I changed. If you go under the watch now page, we'll notice a completely new layout on this. Uh, I've got mini sermons in a group, my podcasts, our podcasts rather, with me and them, and then just some little random things here, and then feature films. I'm still trying to figure out how to get it that when I just click, or, yeah, you put like the little arrow in the front here that you can click and it would collapse this whole section. I know I've seen it done on websites, but I have absolutely no idea how to do it, but that's something I'm still working on because it would be nice to be able to shrink the whole mini sermons, shrink podcasts, shrink short sweet bits of goodness, and then just have the feature film down there at the bottom. That would be showing and all these ones would just be little bars. But I'm not sure on that yet. Under history, uh, I've just got a few new little tidbits on that. Uh, I think besides that, let's see, projects, the blog, contact desk, involved, let's see, history. Besides that, everything stayed the same. Pretty much only updates were on the Watch Now page and then the home page. Which, come to think of it, the home page should still get modified a bit because these should be stretching to the full size of the window. I'm not sure why they're not, but they should be, and I'll fix it. Uh, probably won't be changed today, but in a few days that'll be updated. So, that was just the uh, big updates to the website. With our friends, if someone were to ask us a question about, say, our favorite band. No, better yet. Let's not use our favorite band, because we would know about them. Um, say someone asks us about... We're going to go with... And I hope this is a completely fictional name. The Stones Rolling. Not to be confused with the Rolling Stones, who I have absolutely no idea about any either. But anyways, the Stones Rolling. This is this fictitious band that I just invented. And so, I have a friend and he asked me about the Stones Rolling. I obviously know nothing about it. Now, rather than tell him, Oh, the Stones, they're that great band. They play the best music. Well, I've got every single one of their albums. And ramble on for half an hour, 
knowing nothing. And then they come out and say, uh, dude, I just picked up the new Rolling Stones album. It's their first. Uh, it's Stones Rolling. Did I say Rolling? Stone, or anyways, Stones Rolling. Um, okay, let's just... <sighs> let's cut the whole bit. Um, okay, I've got to think of some fake band or something. A book. We'll call it The Blue Book. No, it's just like green book. Okay, yeah, well, that's what we'll do. We'll use the green book. <laughs>